And good evening, and thank you for joining us. We begin with new details in the case of the self-proclaimed Apostle, the leader of a church that claims some 5 million members in the United States and more than 50 other countries around the world. Nathan Joaquin Garcia was arrested over the summer and charged by the California Attorney General with 27 felony counts of sex trafficking and the production of child pornography. He has pleaded not guilty, and today in Los Angeles, prosecutors began to lay out their case against a man who tells his followers he is the only person on earth who speaks to God. The day began in Los Angeles as prosecutors turned over to his lawyers a disc with some of the sex videos they say they found on the Apostles' electronic devices. There's devices that have content that we've identified as child pornography. What we've done with those is we've provided defense with a, a, like a PDF file of the metadata in the everything but the photos and videos. And then we've made the photos and videos available to them to review, which they've been doing since Monday. Okay. There's also a group of, of devices that have what our experts refer to as age difficult images, where there is breast development, but the girls look quite young. So we are not at this juncture in a position to say with absolute certainty these are 18 or 19 year olds rather than 15, 16 or 17 year olds. Are you putting those items or images in the category of child pornography? No, those are separate because child pornography means we've identified them with certainty as being under 18. Age difficult means we have not been able to confirm their identities yet. Okay. But we have some concern based on the nature of the case and the other devices where we have confirmed it that they may be minors. So without further due diligence, we didn't want to simply copy the images and provide them. Rather, those also, we've handled those the same way as the child pornography. So the metadata has been provided and the images are available. Correct. Okay. That's not really compliance. And so it's a little, it's a little misleading to suggest on this very beautifully done spreadsheet that all the yes boxes means that we have all the data. We have exactly nothing. We have not. Well, I, I don't think that's quite true. I think there's a little bit of data that we do have, and I'll let Mr. Mason explain what that is. Lawyers for Garcia claiming they're not getting all the evidence they want. Executive producer Rhonda Schwartz is in Los Angeles today to cover the court hearing and joins us now from outside the courthouse. Rhonda, it seemed like a contentious hearing between the prosecutors from the Attorney General's office and Garcia's own lawyers. It was indeed, and you, as you can see, the man known to his followers as the Apostle is in his orange jumpsuit, having traded in his tuxedo, and surrounded by his lawyers today, they argued that the defense has been slow to turn over critical pieces of electronic evidence that was seized in a raid of his properties. The key witnesses in this case are known as Jane Doe's one through four, but what backs their story up is this physical evidence that the prosecution claims they have. And these videos, it's cell phones, computers, we don't really know the full extent. It's only been described as 50 electronic devices, apparently contain videos of the sex acts themselves that he's been charged with, with underage girls, including forcible rape of a minor. And of course, in the filing papers by the Attorney General's office, they said at one point he had the young girls put whipped cream on each other and then lick it off. Uh, sort of a very offensive, if true. Also in the courtroom, Rhonda, we see a couple of women who are charged with him. What's the story with them? Well, you saw in the courtroom today two of the four women, three women, excuse me, who've been charged with his accomplices. These are young women who have been in the inner circle of the church who are charged with effectively, as in the Jeffrey Epstein case, recruiting these underage minors. They were uh, in the court filing. The attorney general says that they recruited minors and had them dressed provocatively like schoolgirls. They had them put whipped cream on each other, and they described various sex acts that they seem to have on these uh, videotape recordings that they have. So one of the women is still at large, but uh, Susanna Owaka was in the court today, and I spoke to her briefly. She was, she's released on house arrest. She had, was surrounded by attorneys, wouldn't say anything, very polite, shook my hand. Quiet throughout, neither of the women had anything to say. Rhonda Schwartz, thank you very much. Outside the courthouse in Los Angeles. Stay on the story. 
All of this is being closely watched by a group of former members of the Apostles Church who have banded together in an effort to expose what they claim is its corruption, greed, and sexual depravity. Raquel Guerra was 14 years old and living in Texas when she was told by her church that she had to marry her boyfriend because they had had sex. They had fornicated, her pastor told her. I kind of felt like there wasn't really a choice because you're kind of scared because you're kind of scared of actually going to hell because they really, really put that in your head. And she says it became a marriage marked by physical abuse and heartbreak with the church indifferent to her plight. Maybe it's something that I'm doing um, to pray to God, maybe to change my ways that maybe I'm provoking this in some way. And now former members of the church have begun to organize using social media, including this site on Reddit, a public effort to expose what they say is the corrupt, hypocritical, and immoral leadership of Joaquin Garcia and his worldwide church. He's demented. He, um, he's not right in the head. He thinks he's not only an apostle, but he thinks he's the living Christ on this earth. When he speaks to his congregation, he literally, when he walks through his walkway, he says, you have not received me as only as an apostle of Christ. You have received me as Jesus Christ himself. And the church spends huge sums on its apostle with elaborate birthday party celebrations. This church in Oregon hosted a big public happy birthday video. The church has built a private zoo and ranch for the apostle in Texas. And even as he was behind bars in California, his daughter was married in an over-the-top wedding in California to the dismay of many former members. It kind of aggravates me because I know how hard the church members try to give as much as they can. They go without um, to be blessed, to give such a big offering, and for them to do things of this nature with their hard-earned money. The church insists its leader, the apostle, is innocent of any wrongdoing, and it has told its followers to pray for Joaquin Garcia to be found not guilty. Church leaders have also told members to shun, to ignore those who speak out against him. Even if it were your brother, your father, your mother, avoid speaking to them because their word eat away like gangrene because it is very dangerous to speak with those people. The way it works in the church is that if you're not with them, you're against them. The way it works, the way, what they preach is if you are deviating from the, the path of the Lord, you're, you're from the devil now. The devil has gotten you. The devil has done everything he could with you. So your conversations, you, you're pretty much meaningless. Raquel Guerra says she had to leave the church once she sought a divorce from her husband, causing strains with her family. I mean, we, we do talk, um, of course. But I really don't have a, a, a really close relationship with my family. And especially probably after this, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm, I'm disowned. Because you're talking with us right now? Yes. That would be seen as a sin? Oh, it's worse than a sin. It, it's going against the man of God. You're, it's beyond a sin. And why are you? Even talk. Oh, go ahead, sorry. And so why are you doing it? because I'm tired of seeing my family just being deceived. And they, really, they really don't see it. As much as you try and tell them, show them facts, they, they re refuse to even consider that this could be a cult. Again, the apostle Joaquin Garcia has denied all of the allegations against him. We ask his lawyers and church representatives to be here tonight on our program, but they declined. The offer remains open as we continue to investigate this important story.